Welcome back to Online Family Storytime. I'm Miss Katie, and I'm so glad you joined me today. Today is our last program for this session, and then we're going to take a two-week break, and then I'll be back on the 31st. So let's get started with our hello song. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello, 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 friends. I'm so glad to see you today. So happy you're here. Now, let's check out what the mail carrier brought for our clue today. I'm super excited to find out what our letter is. Oh, how adorable. It's a unicorn, an adorable little you, you, unicorn. It's our first clue, a unicorn. Aha, an umbrella, a, a, umbrella, a, and you, that's two different sounds. I think it might be one of those tricks or vowels again, having a long sound and a short sound. I think so. Aha. The United States of America. United States of America. You. That's where we live. We live in the United States of America. And the state that we live in is called Illinois. So there's 50 states and it makes up our whole country. And then the state that we live in is Illinois. I bet you all already knew that though. Okie dokie. Are you ready for our letter? Are you prepared? I'll give you a hint. It was on the map. Did you see it? <laughs> All right. Here's our letter. Letter, letter, letter. Ready to say it out loud? Okay. One, two, three. You. You is our letter today. You makes a U sound like unicorn and universe. But it's a trickster and also makes a uh, uh, uh sound. Like umbrella or up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh. So it's one of those tricky vowels that has two sounds. Some other letters have two sounds also, but all vowels have a long and a short sound. So let's get this letter up on our letter tree. All right, our letter is up on the letter tree. Now let's sing our ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh, lovely job, my friends. Lovely, lovely job. Let's do the days of the week now. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we start again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we start again. Great job, friends, great job. I am ready for a story. Are you ready for a story? I think you might be, but I think we should sing the song just to get all our sillies out. If you're ready for a story, then clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, then clap your hands. Clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, then stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, then stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, then nod your head. Nod your head, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, then nod your head. Nod your head. If you're ready for a story, then sit so still, sit so still, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, then sit so still, sit so still. Shh. Fantastic. I think you're ready for the story. This week's story is called Great Day for Up by Dr. Seuss. And the pictures are by Quentin Blake. So it's a little different style than the Dr. Seuss that you know. But does anyone know that what happened last week? It was Dr. Seuss's birthday. So all of March, we like to celebrate Dr. Seuss and his birthday because he wrote so many fantastic books and it takes a month to get through them all. So today I'm going to read one to you. Up, up, the sun is getting up. The sun gets up, so up with you. Up, ear number one, ear number two. Up heads, up whiskers, tails. Great day today, great day for up. Up, up, you open your eyes. You worms, you frogs, you butterflies. Up whales, up snails, up rooster, hen, up girls and women, boys and men. Great day for up feet, lefts and rights, and up, up baseballs, footballs, kites. Great day to sing, up on a wire, up, up voices, louder, higher. Upstairs, up ladders, up on stilts. Great day for up, Mount Dilma tilts. Everybody's doing ups on bikes and trees and buttercups. Up, up, waiters, alligators. Up folks, up in elevators. Giraffes, great day for seals, great day for up on Ferris wheels. Up, 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 fill up the air, up flags, balloons, up everywhere. Up, 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 great day for up, wake every person, pig and pup, till everyone on earth is up. for me. Please go away. No up. 
I'm sleeping in today. The end. That was a silly ending to a book. Told everyone to get up and then said, eh, not me. I'm going to sleep in today. So silly. You don't do that, do you? No, you're ready to go just like that. Grown-ups like to sleep in, though, don't we? Mm-hmm. I bet your parents are always just like, mm, five more minutes on the weekends. I know I am. But getting up is fun, because then you get to do all the fun things, right? Yeah, sleeping in, eh, that's no fun. You don't get to do anything. You just sleep. But it's important to get your rest, too, so. Life's all about balance, my friends. Well, that was a super fun book. And are you ready for our craft? Today, our craft is going to be a unicorn. It's going to be super colorful and fun. So let's go do it. For our craft today, we will be making a paper plate unicorn. So let's get started. You'll need scissors, pencil, glue, and an array of colored paper and a paper plate. All right, to get started, I'm going to make the horn first. My paper is very thin, so I am going to glue it together because I want it to stick up straight like a unicorn does. So while I do everything else, I'm gonna first fold this and get it glued so that dries while we do the rest. All right, so I have very thin paper. All right, next, we are going to make a heart snout. So if you remember how to make our hearts, we fold our paper in half. And then we out half the heart like that and you open it up Ta-da! a heart all right so that's gonna be the snout we'll get to that later okay so we're gonna set that aside now also now for the ears I have two pieces of white paper I'm going to put them together I'm going to draw what I think a unicorn ear looks like. That's a unicorn ear to me. And I'm going to just cut it out. Like so. And your unicorns can have whatever kind of ears you want. Little round ears, no ears, whatever. Your design, your creation. All right, so these will go up here like that. They almost look like rabbit ears. I promise they won't at the end. All right, check. Now, I have all of my rainbow strips. What I did was I went into our scrap box and I got out all the colors of the rainbows and I cut them into little rectangles thin strips okay now you can have your this is going to be the hair for the unicorn now you can of course have rainbow like me or you can have all orange all pink all purple and you can use whatever you have available if you have yarn that'd be cool but I like rainbows because I think rainbows and unicorns go well together so I'm going to do rainbow style on our, on just the side here of our unicorn. Put it like, oh, running out of room. So, all right, so that's gonna just be on like half of, half of the unicorn. It's gonna be its main handy dandy glue stick. And I'm just going to glue 
quarter of the paper. So start there. I'm going to flip it over so we can see what we're doing here. Blue, green, yellow. What's going to go next? Orange. Red. Pink. And purple. Right, press those down. It's okay if the paper plate gets a little bent out of shape. We'll just push it back into its shape. Watch. Flip. Push. Pull up. All right. So there we are with our main here. And you can put more in here if you think it looks a little sparse. You can put them closer together. Whatever you want to do. I actually want to... Oops. I lost my purple. All right. There's my purple. All right. And now I'm going to put the ears on. They're going to go... Glue it just on the bottom half. Slide it there. And same thing for this one. Move this over. There. All right. Now for the horn. Now you can make it just straight, or I've seen it where it's kind of like bubbled like that. So whichever you want to do, I'm going to freehand because that's what I like to do. Let's bubble it, shall we? All right. A little out and then in, then out and then two point. All right, see how it's kind of wavy. And then follow the same pattern on the other side. Mirror image like this. Hmm. I feel like that's not pointy enough. I'm going to fix my point a little bit. There, much better. That in the middle. All right, that'll work. I'm going to put it that in the middle. Glue on there. Put it right in the middle between your ears here. There. Next, we're going to do the little the mouth here. Put glue all over that. It's like it's muzzle. A little crooked. There. Okay. 
Now we're gonna do some eyes and mouth and nose. I have my handy dandy brand here. I'm just gonna do little nostrils here. If you wanna make a smile, you can. Like that. All right, looks like its own little face, but now we're going to put eyes up here too. All right, so for the eyes, I'm going to do two half circles. So I'm starting in the same spot there, and there. And I'm going to like that. Same thing here. Half circle. And I'm going to give it some eyelashes. Like that. There we go. And just because it's a unicorn, unicorns are colorful and full of sparkle usually. I'm going to add some hearts on my unicorn's forehead area. So it's like a little, kind of like a crown kind of deal. I also use these as the inside of their ears. Oh, sure, let's do that. Or do you want to do it upside down? No. I like it like that. And you know what? I'm not even going to match them. They're going to be two different colors. There's that. We'll do some more. Just for fun. Why not? Let's zhuzh it up a little bit, shall we? Some extra hearts here. And one here. I just had some leftover hearts from another craft. So I thought, well, let's decorate. Let's from the top. Peel that one off. Do that. Yep. And there you are, my friends. One fantastic rainbow unicorn. See you next time. Happy crafting. Well, that was a super fun craft. I had so much fun making it with you today. Now, remember, this was our last program for this session. And then we're gonna take a two week break and we'll be back on March 31st, with our whole new session. Okay, so have a fantastic week. Have a fantastic another week. And then we'll see you in two weeks, okay? See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Not too soon, baboon. Bye-bye, butterfly.